How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl. They were actually checking out a uncommon commander from Dominaria United. And that's Garna Bloodfist of Keld. Now Garna is one of those commanders that at first it doesn't look very exciting, but whenever another creature you control attacks, draw a card if it was attacking. Otherwise, Garner deals one damage to each opponent. So it's basically... It's basically card draw if you're attacking, and it's a blood artist if you're not attacking. Well, it's half a blood artist, right? It's the damage part, which is what kills people with blood artists. Although, to be fair, the life gain is kind of what keeps you in the game, but... We're going to bottom the dragon because we kind of need more lands. Three is fine for what we're dealing with at the moment in our hand, but it's not going to get us to our commander, right? I'm actually thinking I'll open on uh, Dreadhorde Invasion. I was going to go Croxa, but having the double black down... I guess we could have gotten double black with Croxa too, but... Croxa doesn't provide anything immediately, and we're up against Jetmir, so we kind of want something immediately. Fortunately, this has a token cloth, so just if our Dreadhorde Butcher gets up to six mana, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do the thing, right? So we could go into Keld here. Which would be good, but I think we're going to go into Raiju instead. So if they trade with the token, we get our 2-2. Two -two. And we get to keep our 4-4. Four -four. What's big about the Jetmere deck is keeping them off creatures, right? Because if they get... They have three tiers that they want to reach. And if they reach tier 3, you just lose. We're gonna get down Garna. So then we're gonna play creatures next turn. So when I was building this deck, I focused on creatures that have attack or damage triggers. So that way... Boy, that's a rough one. We're gonna ninjutsu in. If I token, you won't mind anyways. They draw a card, we draw a card. We also get to exile the top card of everybody's library and cast it for free. Uh, so the Blood Artist is probably just better than a dog. I don't mind dogs, it's just uh, one will win the game, the other will protect our commander for a turn. Mm, getting rid of the Blood Artist is probably pretty smart. Like, we're creating a lot of problems, but... So I think we go Rebel. And then just swing out. If we're gonna get bad trades, but we will draw cards. Or draw a card. Draw a card, make a treasure. Damage, make a treasure. Like we're not in the worst shape. 
It's just, can we get there before our opponent gets there? I don't know anymore. damage this turn. Uh -huh. There's one damage. Nope, I didn't exile a creature. There wasn't a creature. I could have exiled one of my creatures, right? I guess. Uh, well, I think we're dead now. I think we're dead. Yeah, we dead. Yeah, that's rough. Just attacking. You got this. I guess you want to play out your spells. Nobody likes you anyways. I am. Demir's actually really likable. Of the Lords of Nukapenna. Yeah, he's not last place. The last place would probably be like the Jund one, right? Because nobody ever really sees him. He's a cool demon dragon, but... He's not making any friends. Rafine's actually, I don't know if Rafine might be lower, but Rafine is actually practically useful. I'll keep this. This is slower, but... Hey, I think I've ran into this deck before. Maybe the same build might not be. Emoji. Mm, gonna go with no. But the build we ran into last time, uh, we'll keep the fifth land, it can get us to our dragon. Yeah, the build we ran into last time was a, um, was a dragon deck? No, dragon, um, Shadowborn Apostle version. I'm gonna go darkness. I don't have the other pieces, so it's just for the life loss ability, making tutus. Not exciting, I know, but. Yeah, I kinda have to. Maybe I should have played Rankle, because then I could have sacrificed a rat. But, um, I don't know how important that is. Yeah, let's go all three. Yeah, I don't need a mountain. Wrinkle is pretty good with Garna. Because the sack happens during attacking combat, right? I 
I don't know if we're going to outrace our opponent, but... Listen, we're a berserker. Berserker's got a berserk. No think, just do. Juni of the Midnight Sky. Do I have anything? I don't really have anything I want to reanimate. I don't really want to sack. Do I want to decline and reanimate with Juni? Yeah, kind of. Maybe dig their demon. Is their demon better than my commander? <laughs> Certainly bigger, but I think we'll just take our commander. We are very close to dead, though. I think that kind of cuts off my commander. Because it's a. Uh, it's a replacement effect. will unfortunately have to block which is not his strong suit yeah the traitor of kiss is uh, ruining our day maybe I missed what's that maybe I was supposed to attack with Rankle and do a sack then I would have gone down to four life it wouldn't have gotten rid of the hope but it might have gotten rid of him or him which are kind of the issue right Okay. Uh, not even okay. Yeah. I think Garnet is speedrunning our how fast can we lose challenge. That might be a little out of practice too. Been playing other games recently. But Garnet, like, he's simple. As far as commanding goes, right? Attack and let things die. That's our goal. That's what we're here to do, and it's what we've done. Uh, we want another black source, preferably. My Westgate region is not powerful unless I can cast him. Alright, we have a uh, Doomblade on hand. Would you? You can kill a Squee. No, we can't. Yeah, it can. Squee has. Yeah, well, it's terribly convenient. We're gonna Doomblade Squee. I wanted to play my, uh... My free greed every turn, but only once a turn. We 
just have to not let Squee do its thing. They only go to the command zone, which is a bit weird. Uh, but I guess it makes sense in the early stage of the game because you're not going to have enough. Draw a card, make a treasure. We're going to raft, but we don't need to. Uh... Don't need to make a creature for three life and then immediately lose it. Shell, come on. Do we go Airbus the Black Hearted? I have two treasures. We could go. Okay. Into. Probably should have just gone. Garn is. Is Garn gonna be big enough? I guess Garn is big enough. I kinda wanna get down to Erebos, because Erebos uh, is card draw. But we don't really have enough life to uh, get card draw off of him, do we? We only have seven cards. If we uh, pay two life for each card. I don't know, I'm still not a master. These suicide black type decks. Uh, mono black pain, I guess would be the more modern term for it. Dude, he's a goblin? Wow. The more you know. Still just... So you have to choose one every turn. There is no not choosing. We kind of had to end the game quickly. Westgate can do that. We're going to send in our token. Which is apparently a shapeshifter. Which boulders get, I guess, yeah. That makes sense. And I think I always think of this card is more modern than Baldur's Gate, but it isn't. You're just gonna make a treasure. Apparently a second black source is not my fortune, so we're not gonna try for it. Gonna make a pest. Our board needs to be embiggened. We have a lot of black mana pips for not having more than one black mana land, right? It's because black market connections is really good. I'm gonna get a couple counters. Yeah, they can block it with the twin, the twin shot, right? But. I don't see where this is going. You're going to have to discard your hand if you want to ping that down. I guess say they ping it twice and then block, <laughs> but that is like the worst deal possible. Uh, and they did it in the block phase too, so they didn't have the option to block. Oh god. I'm sorry, Dina. 
That was not how things were supposed to go. Although I am proud of our deck at this point. Like, the damage that has been done to both players has been on us. Like... Rid of a Pashelic Mons. You two probably. And you get a token, I guess. Wow, a lot of things died though. Not many of our things though. Yeah, we have the least one board, right? So our opponent has just scooped. Three games, one victory, two losses. Eh, not the greatest. I still think Garn is probably a pretty good commander. Uh, she's fun at the very least. Like, I... I did not rate her, but she is actually pretty decent, so... Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.